Limit comparison is what you're going to use when instead of being able actually to calculate the number, you don't yet know what the number is, but you can make a comparison to something whose uh, convergence properties you already understand. Well, here's the statement. If a function f is similar to a function, asymptotically the same as a function g, as x goes to infinity, I'll remind you what that means in a second, then the integral starting at some point out to infinity of f of x dx and the other one um, converge and diverge at the same time. So both either, e either, sorry, either, let's try it the other way, either both, either both converge or both diverge. They behave exactly the same way in terms of whether they're infinite or not. And let me remind you what this, what this tilde means. Um, this thing uh, means that f of x divided by g of x tends to 1. So if you have a couple of functions like that, then their behavior is the same. This is more or less uh, obvious. It's just because um, far enough out, this is for large A, if you like. We're not paying any attention to what happens. It just has to do with the tail. And after a while, f of x and g of x are comparable to each other, so their integrals are comparable to each other. All right, so let's just do a, a, a couple of examples here. If you take the integral from 0 to infinity dx over the square root of x squared plus 10, then I claim that the square root of x squared plus 10 resembles the square root of x squared, which is just x. So this thing is going to be like, so now I'm going to have to do one thing to you here, which is I'm going to change this to 1, to infinity, dx over x. And the reason is that this x equals 0 is extraneous. It doesn't have anything to do with what's going on with this problem. Um, this guy here, the piece of it from, so, so we're going to ignore the part <coughs> integral from 0 to 1 dx over square root of x squared plus 10, which is finite anyway, and unimportant. Whereas, unfortunately, the integral of dx will have a singularity at x equals 0, so we can't make the comparison there. All right? Anyway, this one is infinite. So this is divergent. All right, using, using uh, what, I, what I knew from before. All right, yeah. Uh, the question is, um, what did, why did we switch from 0 to 1? So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a little bit more about that later. Let me just make it a warning here, which is that this guy here is infinite for other reasons, unrelated reasons. The comparison that we are trying to make is with the tail as x goes to infinity. So another way of saying this is that I should stick an a here and an a here and get, stay away from 0, so say, say a equals 1. If I make these both 1, that would be OK. If I make them both 2, that would be OK. 
If I make them both 100, that would be okay. So let's leave it as 100 right now, and it's acceptable. I want you to stay away from the origin here because that's another bad point. And just talk about what's happening with the tail. All right. So this is a tail, and I also had a different name for it up top, which is emphasizing this, which is limit comparison. It's only what's happening at the very end of the picture that we're interested in. So again, this is as x goes to infinity. That's the limit we're talking about, the limiting behavior. And we try not to pay attention to what's happening for small values of x.